Hello, my name is Andrea Miller. I'm a vet and a postdoctoral researcher at the Universidad of Higgins in Chile. Today I'm presenting the antibiofilm activity of Lavandula dentata and oregano and Bulgari essential oils against Candida species. As an introduction, Candida albicans is the most common human fungal pathogen, and one feature of Candida species pathogenicity is their ability to form biofilms. Biofilms protect from external factors such as host immune system defenses, contributing to the perpetuation of the disease and resistance to antifungal treatment. The increase in fungal infections due to the appearance of resistant fungi to different antifungal drugs, in addition to the few drugs available, make it necessary to search for new alternatives of treatment for treatment. This study aimed to assess the in vitro antibiofilm activity of two essential oils from commonly available plants. Lavandula dentata, also known as lavander, and oregano bulgari, also known as oregano. On inhibiting, on inhibiting Candida albicans biofilm formation in cooperation to standard antifungal, antifungal agents. The aerial parts of these plants were collected during spring. The specimens were identified and certified by a taxonomist, and the essential oils uh, were extracted from fresh leaves by steam distillation. Uh, the number of efficacious antifungal drugs that can be used is limited. At present, there are five classes of antifungals used for human infection, each with different mode of action. In this case, a soul acts on the biosynthetic, biosynthetic pathway of ergosterol, and this, in this group we have gluconazole, and polyens target the plasma membrane, in particular ergosterol, and here we have nistatine, for example. In this study, in this study we compared the essential oils to fluconazole and nistatine. After obtaining the minimal inhibitory concentration of these essential oils, we test the effect on different stages of biofilm formation. Remember that biofilms are highly organized biochemical communities with three-dimensional structure attached to biotic and abiotic surface. The first stage is characterized by cells changing their morphology to ify and adhering to the surface. So we test the effect on filamentation and the addition ability of candida albicans determined by changes in morphogenesis and through crystal bile assay, respectively. The second stage of prolif or proliferation phase involved the process of initiation biofilm formation, where cell layers continue to join. And the third and last stage is where the process of maturation and dispersal occurs in which cells are surrounded by a dense extracellular matrix and in parallel these cells are dispersed which will contribute to the spread of the infection. In this stage we test the antibiofilm effect through a modified scratch assay and viability by MTT reduction assay. Result shows that both oils were able to inhibit filamentation, adhesion, and biofilm formation in an abiotic surface, exerting significant antifungal activity against the candida strains compared to fluconazole and nistatine. The inhibitory activity of oregano bulgari essential oils uh, in candida albicans was higher than lavandula dentata. Our results are consistent with those obtained in other studies where a significant decrease in the addition of Candida albicam was observed. These essential oils inhibit the addition of the cells to polystyrene plates in a concentration corresponding to the MIC, the minimum inhibitory concentration. Unlike what happens with conventional antifungals where they do not present effect on the addition stage. The essential oils decrease the viability of Candida albicans biofilms with higher potency than nistatine. And fluconazole, in this case, increased the viability of biofilms showing an effect similar to the paradoxical effect described for echinocandines. 
The results observed on the modified scratch assay showed that the use of fluconazole and nistatin, uh, that they did not inhibit the formation of, of new biofilms. Here we see that at uh, 40, uh, 24 hours post uh, the scratch, there's no difference uh, used by fluconazole and nistatin in the biofilm formation. Where the use of oregano and lavanda essential oils inhibits its formation. There is, new, there is not new biofilm formation. In addition, we show an image, uh, an image obtained through scanning electron microscopy of the effect of lavanda essential oils on strength of candida albicans. This is the, the control, this is with fluconazole, and this is with lavanda essential oil. And we can see that the membrane is, uh, have um, little modifications. This study, this study demonstrates that the use of both essential oils from lavandula dentata and oregano bulgari could be a promising strategy against resistant biofilms from candida species. We cannot forget that a biofilm is a community of microbial cells that are ad adhered to a surface, and interactions between fungi and bacteria play a key role in the development of different diseases. Essential oils possess a wide range of antibacterial and antifungal potential and could be a natural, biodegradable, non-toxic and eco-friendly and safe alternative to the use of toxic synthetic chemical compounds. I would like to thank um, uh, the, the, this presentation and the Ohio State University and the One Health Initiative uh, for this opportunity. Thank you very much.